Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. My name is Nikki, and I'm the product manager of SecureFrame. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about how SecureFrame uses Retool to empower our internal processes and product analytics. First, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself, then what SecureFrame does, and then we'll jump a little bit into the actual use cases that we want to talk about today. Like I said, I'm a product manager here at SecureFrame. Outside of standard product development, I help a lot with our internal team and internal tools to help facilitate just process improvement across the board. I also work a lot with our internal teams to do a lot of the product analytics work that helps inform these teams on what the most actionable insights are. Before I jump into the use cases for Retool, I want to talk a little bit about what SecureFrame does to give everyone some context. SecureFrame is a compliance platform that is founded to help companies get and maintain security compliance. If you ever had to go through a SOC 2 audit or anything similar, you understand how hard that is. We cover frameworks like SOC 2, ISO 27001, HIPAA, uh, PCI, DSS, and a few more. And from the beginning, our platform was really created to, to scale with you. Along with some automated monitoring that we have and a productized workflows, we also provide a team of expert compliance experts that have decades of audit advisory and consulting experience from top firms like EY to help make the process really as easy as possible on your side. Once you get compliant, we continue to monitor your platform automatically to check for misconfigurations in your tech stack and help you stay compliant over, over time. Overall, this is something that we try to make it easy and seamless as possible so that you can unlock revenue on your side as quickly as possible. Before jumping directly into the demo of how SecureFrame uses Retool, in a couple of ways, I just wanted to talk about them a little bit high level. Firstly, we help our customer success team track customer engagement using Retool. This allows customer success managers to know how engaged customers are in the app and whether they should be reaching out to them if they're not engaged. We also help them. We also surface some analytics to to show how how efficiently our customers are getting onboarded. Once again, just so customer success managers can go out and reach out whenever necessary. And a lot of staying in, and this is really important too, is we unblock a lot of simple chores. I'm sure everyone's had the experience here reaching out to an engineering, an engineer or engineering team asking for something that, you know, should take, you know, 20, 30 minutes and ends up taking, you know, two or three weeks. And so a lot of the simple chores, we want to empower those RCS teams to take those on and not have engineering or product be a blocker. So I'll jump into the demo real quick now. Let's sit here. The first thing I want to show is very simple workflow that our customer success managers use all the time, basically on a daily basis. This is how customer success team creates new organizations that are app or new companies that are app. So when companies are onboarded, part of that is obviously creating instance for that company in our application. And so these are all the standard fields that we would need to create that comp company. The CS member basically just goes through, fills out all the required fields, which are highlighted here in Retool, which is very nice to see. And once they have all the required fields filled out, they only need to click submit. And that runs a script that creates a company for that customer success manager. Without, <laughs> without Retool, we'd be building not only the backend functionality and the scripts that we had to build anyways for this, but obviously the front end components and whatnot. Also, changes would have to be managed through a normal deploy system like a production application. But fortunately, through Retool, that makes it much easier to swap out scripts or debug issues without having to completely deploy a new app. So yeah, this is just one example of an inventory process that we have simplified with Retool. There are a couple more that we have, but figured I'd jump into a different use case that we have for customer engagement. This is an example of an engagement tracker that we built for the customer success team. I'll start at the top here with the high level summary. This basically, if you can imagine a table that shows the last action for every user in our app, and then we choose for each company, the last action that we saw for in the app, imagine a table where we have that information. And initially when we were looking at this data, we did some ad hoc analysis to try to find out, you know, what, what companies really are at risk of churning or are at risk of just being unengaged, right? We, it turns out we, in the ad hoc analysis, we found there are different, you know, buckets of risk. So if a customer has done action the last 10 days, they have no churn risk or no unengagement risk. 
versus customers that have not done an action app in the last 50 to 250 days, that's high risk. And these are the ones that I really want to pay attention to. This dashboard allows the customer success managers to go in for any companies that they manage themselves, select the last action range and filter down to those companies so that they can reach out to them and do the process for you know, re-engaging those customers in the app. This has been really useful for us yeah, before at, in you know different projects. I've built something like this from scratch through Python scripts and whatnot, but this was essentially a plug and chug and retool it makes it obviously lower lift on our side and much easier to maintain. Uh, the other set of statistics uh, that we have here, and of course you can't see the actual numbers are the onboarding statistics, like I mentioned. So outside of, you know, general engagement throughout a customer lifetime or a customer life cycle, we also want to make sure that early on in the process, you, you kind of hit those benchmarks for uh, what is considered a successful onboarding. And so you'll see, you know, this is when a the company was created. And then we also track in the dashboard how many users have completed onboarding. How many are still invited, but incomplete? How many vendors you have added? You know, we're a compliance platform. So part of our, our, our job is to help you track and manage these vendors. And how many internal policies have you published? These are all milestones that we've defined internally as a team for successful onboarding. And if, you know, you're a customer success manager, you've had 10 customers join in the last or have been onboarded in the last 30 days. You know, your goal is to make sure these numbers are greater than, you know, five, 10, a hundred based off of the size of the company. So just to take a summary here. These two dashboards are ones that our CS team is using all the time. Engagement is obviously something that's top of mind for them. And this is something that we just don't have to worry about anymore as a product team or as an engineering team to build something ad hoc, right? We've done the analysis. We can, you know, build any additional information we have into these apps and our customer success team is empowered to take action on that on that information whenever they have the time. That's it from my side. Thank you everyone for your time. And yeah, I really appreciate tuning in. To learn more about SecureFrame, please feel free to check out our website at secureframe.com. For product demos, please email us at sales at secureframe.com. Thank you.